In this lesson, we're going to talk about predicting outcomes. Predicting outcomes is basically when you're asked a question and you predict what's going to happen or what the result or answer is going to be. Let's read the word problem. Tiffany spins this color wheel 100 times for a classroom project. Use this diagram of the wheel to predict her possible outcomes. Now, in this chart, you have different portions representing different colors. The first question says, which color do you predict will be chosen the most and why? What we have to do is look at the chart and see which color has the biggest piece. Now we can see that orange has the biggest piece, which means that if we turn the arrow, most likely, it'll fall on orange the most times. We can say that orange will be the color that will be chosen the most. The second one says, which color do you predict will be chosen least and why? Now we have to look for the one that has the smallest piece. Green has the smallest piece. So we can say that most likely it'll be chosen the least if we spin the arrow. The third question asks us to give a combination of two colors that together will be chosen more than half of the time. So basically what we're doing is we're looking for two colors that when we put them together, they'll create a piece that's bigger than half of the circle. Now, if we look at B and G, we can see that if we put those two together, they're not going to be bigger than half of our circle. So that's not a good choice. If we look at Y and B, we can see that together they're going to make a piece that's bigger than half the circle. So that's a good choice. But we have more. We have O and Y. O and Y also make a piece that's bigger than half the circle. So that is a good choice. O and B, these two pieces aren't right next to each other, but we can tell that B is about the same size as Y. So, O and B would be a good choice. 